Now an Eyewitness News exclusive. Blistering criticism from former Philadelphia Mayor John Street directed at the current mayor and police commissioner in regard to the unrest. Tonight I spoke exclusively to Commissioner Outlaw about the recent tragic events and these comments from Mayor Street. This is a failure of leadership. We take nine months to train a person to be a member of the Philadelphia Police Department. We spend tens of thousands of dollars. It is inexcusable for those police, police officers, officers to be there to be without there. the proper equipment. I do know that there's been an, a line item in our annual budget for 900000 for tasers. That has been approved. No one has said, no, we're not going to give you this money. Did there need to be some rethinking in how we deploy the tasers or the amount of tasers that we were purchasing? Maybe. But to say it's a failure of leadership, I think not only is it unfair, um, but I think it's really easy to sit back in Monday morning quarterback. Now, in the era of Black Lives Matter, people are fed up. Commissioner, body cam video is going to be released to the public soon. Do you think in any way it will change the public perception of what happened and why it happened? Or is there a chance that this could put some fuel on the fire? We're dealing with raw emotion. The video that was shown on the day of the incident, I think, is pretty clear. We're not releasing the body-worn camera footage to try to change hearts and minds. We're doing it in the spirit of transparency to show that we're not hiding anything. The police-involved death of Mr. Walter Wallace Jr. triggered a rash of rioting and looting. The National Guard is coming in. Is that a signal that we're close to things getting out of hand, or is it just a request to help quell what's been going on? It's a request to quell, uh, not only quell anxiety, but to also assist us with our presence. Uh, when the National Guard were here in previous months, they allowed us to really put PPD resources in other parts of the city where we needed to be most. That allows us to focus more uh, on the other issues that are going on in the city. We are living in the age of the, of the virus. And, and poverty is on the increase, and unemployment is on the increase, and people are suffering mentally and psychologically. It's not an excuse for anybody, you know, to, to loot and to do those kind of things, but we have to understand we are, we leaders are responsible for creating an environment where people feel loved and respected and appreciated. Mayor Street and Commissioner Outlaw had a closing message when it comes to hope and overall concern. The most important thing they can do right now is go vote. The second most important thing they can make, do now is make a commitment that they're going to be involved in, in criminal justice reform over the long haul, not the short haul. I can't stress enough that we're not picking and choosing and cherry picking neighborhoods as a slight to any one particular area. And, and, and I have a concern that some residents may feel that way, but I need them to know that wholeheartedly, uh, not only is that our, it's not our intention, uh, but it's just not true.